These are the scenes at a market in Chengdu when Chinese authorities imposed a lockdown this week. Many desperately grabbing what they could before the shelves emptied out. Some going to extreme lengths to stock up. 21 million people live here, and on Thursday, 157 of them tested positive for COVID-19. The government says just one case would be enough to hit pause. In essential services like supermarkets, pharmacies and hospitals will remain open. Restaurants are only allowed to offer takeaway, and employees of those places should get tested every day. Every household can send one person with a negative test result to do their shopping once a day. Mass testing means long lines. Even the digital registration system keeps crashing, overwhelmed at the number of daily entries. But testing has to be done for people to be able to bring food back home to their families. Flights, trains, taxis and shared bikes are still available for residents. Medical workers and residents who have an urgent need to go out must provide a negative test result taken within 24 hours before using public transportation. Shanghai and Beijing know all too well what it's like during a complete lockdown. In May, the WHO criticizing the plan to achieve what Beijing calls zero COVID-19 cases in such megacities. We uh, indicated that the approach, um, uh, you know, uh, will not be sustainable. And considering uh, the uh, behavior of the virus, uh, I think a shift will be very important. The empty streets of major Chinese cities are a reminder of the links the government is willing to go to stop the pandemic. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera.